And here's trending moment number seven. The Samsung Galaxy men's ski slope style was something to behold. When this thing was finally in the books, the scores were through the roof. The early runs were dominated by Swiss skier Andre Rigetli, who led after one run and actually managed to top himself in run two. Andre Rigetli, the Swiss skier, sitting in the top spot as of right now. He posted up a 93 flat. Smooth again up top, the front side switch up, front side 450 out. There's another big front side spin with that 630 out. These rails have so much spinning, so much technicality. Left and right side, so two different 450s. So Andre known for the technicality always. And here's that 1440 to the right, then expect some big left side rotations to finish this off. 16 again, will we see him step it up from the 16 on the bottom jump? Diving forward, gets the grab, 1800, wow. Andre Rigetli. <laughs> this gentleman walked away with a silver in this event last year. He finds himself in the number five position right now, it's Matt Forehand. And you can see a little Instagram love there for Mac Forehand, also filming with faction skis in, in the backcountry, in the streets, always doing technical stuff. That's why he's got the hurt back for just picking up that snowmobile, probably trying to dig himself out from a nice stuck. But he's back on course, and this is honestly where he's the most comfortable. So solid, skis every day, nine to four. He is a force in the park, and look at that tail grab. The Switch 1260, so perfect. Will he see the 1800 potentially on this bottom jump? He's doing it! Is he gonna put it down? Matt and he does! Forehand! Absolutely gigantic triple cork, 1800. So smooth through the rails, and then spinning to the moon on that last and final jump. That brought up Burke Rood whose disappointing finish last night was very much on his mind. So I'm gonna be honest, last night, big air, first time I've, I feel like I've failed myself for two years. I've been like delivering every, like every competition. I've always managed to deliver at least what, like I feel like my best, this is my best. And last night I felt like I did not deliver my best. I was not there. Something was off. I things were going too fast for me. I kind of managed to just like reset, go into uh, go into my mode and and look at this as you know, this is a competition like any other competition. Norway's Burke Rude in for attempt at number two, sitting down in that ninth position. That second run, I was that was my last shot. That was the only shot I had. I had I, I told myself. This is the one. This is the one you get. You need to like I don't have I don't have any more power after last night to do to try to like keep on going. Like I, I got one run, all my energy, put it in, make it count. Getting tech up top on the rails here. Let's see this back three switch up transfer. That's what gave him trouble earlier. And we know Burke. He excels on the jump. No way was that that good. That's a right side 16. There's that switch 16. Will he go even bigger in the final jump? He's a big air master. The double bio. Oh, yes. just squeaks it around. Burke Rude finally puts down a run, gets the rails and jump combinations together. I'm still dumbfounded by that right side 16. That was huge. And you see the relief on his face after coming up short in big air last night. Do you mind talking me through that second run? Yeah, yeah. I was fully, fully present, fully focused on top. Going into the first rail, front three swap, front two. And then it's like always the first rail, boom. And then you're like, when that's in, when that sits, you're just, you're on, you're on one. And then you go into second rail, I did a switch right to back 450, and uh, landing switch again, looking over my left shoulder, switch to back swap to forward on the, on the kink rail, 
And then coming into the last rail feature where I failed in the first run, being patient, just going with the flow, getting on the rail, back three swap to the right, landing on, locking it to forward, and then boosting speed into the side hit, going huge, right double 16, safety, boom, stomp, and then we're on. Second jump, switch, left double cork 16, tail grab, going huge, stomping, going into that last one, and this is, this is the moment like I was looking in my head when I visualized before I dropped in. So this is like in the minutes before I was dropping in my run, I, I, I had looked, I had been imagining this uh, last double bio 18 and I managed to get a good takeoff, go far, do a double bio 18, barely made it around, managed to not, to, to get it on my feet and just, and that's it. 96.33, Burt Rude just jumped to the top of the leaderboard by a full point. Wowzers! Burt Rude putting down a hammer here in run number two as Tom jumps out of the booth to go <laughs> give him a big hug. That's oh. the beauty of being out here courtside. You get to do stuff like it's that. It's awesome, and I know he was frustrated after last night coming up short, so I'm so excited for Burt to put one down here in slope style. So now it comes down to Colby Stevenson. I don't pay any attention to the leaderboard. It doesn't, like, the thing is, the fact is, it does not matter. You can only do your best, and that's what's... You know, that's what's up. You can only control yourself. Three run, he finds himself at the bottom of the pack in 10th place, looking to get rid of that 14.33 through the rail section here and heading into the shark fin. Let's see the line selection this time. Oh, he gets it. The only athlete hitting that feature switch. It's so hard to get that line. There's the switch 1260. Then watch this bottom jump. Let's see if he has that nose butter rotation. Nose butter, double cork 16, and he maintains on that final one. Gus Kenworthy over there. He's got the locked box with all the medals ready to hand out. That I'm messing around with the security. Gus had that thing handcuffed to himself right there. So Gus set to hand out the hardware here. We take a look at Alex Hall, third final attempt. He is on the outside looking in. He's down in that number nine spot. You need a 94.33 or better to jump into the medals. He's in for his third and final attempt. Oh, this is Alex's best run yet on that first rail. And the scores are so high. Look at all those scores in the 90s. Alex got that 77, but just needs to clean everything up and get all the way through this course. I can't believe he can pretzel that. That is switch 270, backside switch up. So technical to get the final pretzel. There, so smooth on the shark fin. That double 12 spinning alley-oop. Into the switch, 14. Did he get the grab good on that one? He's going switch. Will we see that pretzel switch right side rotation? Alex Hill! That was a huge score last night in X Games Big Air. The switch right side 1080, and he pretzels it in the air. You can hear him. I've never seen Alex get that intense. He's going, <laughs> yes, at the bottom. The excitement from him. He was looking at a gold medal last night and had to settle for silver in Big Air. Looking for more hardware here today. Boom, look at that switch up to the flat there. So technical. And this might not look like a ton, but it's dancing. It's perfect choreography, as Kristen talked about. The switch up, the pretzel, everything coming together. Here's that 12, I was, or the 14, excuse me. I was worried about the grab, but I had nothing to worry about because Alex knows how to do it right. This one, it's cork, but it almost goes side cork there. And watch this at the end. Shifts the body. I don't know how he holds that from not going to 1260. It is a 14 or a 1080 instead of a 1260. And it's a pretzel, as you see. And it comes in. It's a 96. Oh. Woo. He jumps into second place. That's going to bump Colby Stevenson down to fourth. But in the end, no one could top Burke Rude. Not only was it redemption, but it was a long time coming. Rude has five X Games Big Air medals, but he'd never finished better than fifth in X Games Slope Style until now. Yeah, I was getting some energy from my dad today. Like I was just like, because we had some special moments, you know, in, in X Games. And uh, today I was kind of low from yesterday's Big Air, so I 
It's kind of just like talking to him, be like, okay, dad, I need your energy. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess we did it. <laughs> it's trending moment number six. 21 year old has been sensational. Currently in a podium spot, but nothing is safe as we get into the third and final runs here. Look at him trying to milk every ounce of speed out of that drop in. Oh, oh my gosh! Uh, <laughs> 22! So I'm gonna give him 23. Somebody call air traffic control. He was absolutely in the flight path. So that's a, this is a 22-foot wall, high wall, Craig. Yes. And how high did he go above that wall? I'm going to say 23 feet. I'm going to round up to 23 feet. Kaiju Hirano. Trending moment number five. Chloe Kim is back in the X Games Super Pipe for the first time since her win in 2021. Podium perfect, she owns eight medals from eight previous appearances, including six gold medals. A seventh gold on Friday would tie her lifelong mentor, Kelly Clark, for most gold in the discipline. I think people thought that I was just chilling on my couple years off, not doing much, but no, I was grinding. Getting my health right, because as I get older, <laughs> the ripe old age of 23, uh, my body takes hits extremely, you know, a lot harder than, than it used to. And um, understanding that, I had to make sure that I was ready to come back. It's kind of hard to come back from a place of darkness and self-doubt. I've never been in that position before. Um, questioning every trick, overthinking every trick, making every trick bigger than it truly is. I mean, I've been doing these tricks for years. I think I have the most fun when I'm progressing this sport, and I think a lot of the other ladies can probably relate to that. There's something so powerful about maybe, you know, being the first woman to do a trick in a competition or just ever. Not only is that a really cool thing to do, make history, but that allows the next generation to do bigger and better things one day. Um, them seeing that possibility, seeing that, you know, they could do anything they put their minds to. So that's kind of my mission, and that's what I'm trying to do. Monster Energy Women Snowboard Super Pipe. I'm so excited for this one. Four rookies in this field, but all eyes will be on Chloe Kim making her triumphant return to the Aspen stage. And now the that queen. moment we've all been waiting for. Making her return to the Aspen stage for the first time in three years. Owner of eight X Games medals, six of them gold. Can she tie Kelly Clark here tonight? For the all-time gold medal count, she is the one and only Chloe Kim. That height? Wow. Bye. That's the front side 10. Let's go. Switch. Switch. Switch method. <laughs> method. Okay. That's really good. That's really good, eh, Torin? Victory lap for Chloe Kim as she will earn her seventh career X Games gold medal. Okay, let's just go bigger. Oh. Okay. Okay, taming it down there. She's setting up for something maybe. Still a cat five, still a switch method. Cat 12! <laughs> cat 12, folks! And there you have it, the victory lap. She just shows you what else she's got. And who better to give a gold medal than seven-time X Games medalist yes. Danny Cass putting the gold <laughs> around Chloe Kim's neck. So I'm really excited to be back. Thank you, Aspen, for having me. Um, really happy I was able to put a run down today and attempt my cab 12. I really wanted to do it in a comp, so I kind of did it today, yeah. And on the victory lap, you didn't need anything big, but you went for a cab 12, never been done in half-pipe competition by a woman before. What was going through your head with that? I really wanted to do that trick for a long time. Um, I attempted it in Beijing, um, and 
I just really wanted to give it a shot. I wish it was a little cleaner, but I'm, I'm really stoked I was able to put it down. Well, we love you and we love having you back at X Games. Chloe Kim, congratulations. Thank you. That is why Chloe Kim is the best in the world. She landed a world's first, and in her interview, she says, I wish it was cleaner. It kind of was it. That is how you become perfect.